The Papillon dog breed descends from the toy spaniels that are frequently portrayed in paintings by the old masters from as far back as the 16th century. They are highly active and wonderful competitors in agility and obedience trials. Even though these are purebred dogs, you may still find them in care of shelters or rescue groups, so remember to adopt. The Papillon, whose name comes from the French word for butterfly, is a portrait come to life. The dwarf spaniel, as he was once known, has somewhat changed in appearance over the years, but he's still the same wonderful companion who graced the laps of ladies and kings so many years ago. The Papillon typically stands 8 to 11 inches tall at the shoulder and weighs between 4 to 9 pounds. He's happy, alert, and friendly. He should never be shy or aggressive. This is, however, a take charge little dog with a moderate to intense activity level. He's very smart and highly trainable and is best described as a doer, not a cuddler. Temperament is affected by a number of factors including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be held by them. Choose the middle of the road puppy, not the one who's beating up his litter mates or the one who's hiding in a corner. Always meet at least one of the parents, usually the mother is the one who's available, to ensure that they have nice temperaments that you're comfortable with. Meeting siblings or other relatives of the parents is also helpful for evaluating what a puppy will be like when he grows up. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Like every other dog, the Papillon needs early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your Papillon puppy grows up to be a well-rounded dog. Enrolling him in a puppy kindergarten class is a great start. Papillons are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they're prone to certain health conditions. While not all Papillons will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents. Health clearances proves that a dog's been tested for and cleared of a particular condition. How much your doll dog eats depends on its size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, and just like people, they don't all need the same amount of food. It almost goes without saying that a highly active dog will need more than a couch potato dog. The quality of the dog food you buy also makes a huge difference. The better the dog food, the further it will go towards nourishing your dog, and the less of it you'll need to shake into your dog's bowl. It's easy to overfeed a Papillon, but he has delicate knees and shouldn't be allowed to get fat. Keep your Papillon in good shape by measuring his food and feeding him twice a day rather than leaving the food out all the time. The Papillon's long, flowing coat is straight, fine, and silky with no undercoat. The Papillon is always party colored, meaning white with patches of any other color. On the head, any color other than white covers both ears back and front and extends without interruption from the ears over both eyes. The coat isn't prone to matting but should be combed and brushed once or twice a week to distribute the natural skin oils and keep the hair and skin healthy. The Papillon doesn't have a doggy odor, so bathe him only as needed. He's a wash and go kind of dog. Trim nails 2 to 3 times a month as needed, and if you can hear them clicking on the floor, they're too long. Papillons love children, but the combination of a tiny dog and a young child can be a recipe for disaster. A Papillon may leap from a child's hands and injure himself if he's not being held correctly, and he won't hesitate to defend himself if he's being mistreated. Many breeders won't even sell puppies to families with toddlers for fear that the dog will be injured. Make it a rule that young children can only hold or pet the Papillon if they're sitting on the floor. Always teach children how to approach and touch dogs and always supervise any interaction between dogs and young children to prevent any biting or ear or tail pulling on part of either party. Teach your child never to approach any dog while he's sleeping or eating or to try to take the dog's food away. No dog, no matter how friendly, should ever be left unsupervised with a child. When it comes to other pets in a family, Papillons get along well with them, including cats, if introduced at a young age. The fearless Papillon will often boss around dogs much bigger than he is, and this may or may not cause problems. It's not that unusual for the smallest dog to be the one in charge. Alright guys, what do you think about the Papillon? Tell me down in the comments. 